it's obvious. Our Lord sprang out of Judah. Ju if Christ was walking the earth, he looked like you. Right. He looked like me. So why did they give us that? Why? It's to keep us under control. Right. To keep our minds under control. Keep us at the bottom. If any man defile the temple of God, he shall God destroy. Say, God going to destroy you for destroying your temple. You know, God is pure. Like I, like I asked you before, if God said, come on, man, come on, my people. He not going to get the drug dealers. He not going to get the, he going to go to them and tell them repent. But he not going to bring you, how, how can you, how can you clean the earth if you dirty? You know what I mean? We got to make the change. Is there more than that? Yes, sir. Quick. For the temple of God is holy. Mm -hmm. Which temple are ye? That's what that's what the scriptures talk about. Who are we to go against God? You know? Who are we? We supposed to do with exactly what he said. It's time, bro. It's time to repent. It's time to change. That's why I asked you, are you ready? We got to build. These brothers right here, they was doing the same wickedness. But we got to build. You got something else? Yes, sir. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 19, verse 7. Mm -hmm. The law of the Lord is perfect. You hear that? God's laws is what's going to make us perfect. God's laws is what's going to change us. When I came to the law, I said, I got to put the cigarettes away. I got to put the weed away. I had to. Right. How can I teach you to do it if I'm going to sit here and do it myself? I had to get the mold out of my own eyes so I could teach you further, brother. That's right. You know what I mean? You know? Converting the soul. That's what's going to change us. The laws of God is what's changing us. That's what, that's what we, we here to tell you. Either you're going to repent, do what God say do, or you're going to die with the rest of them. Right. But it's going to be on God's hand. It's my job to teach you. I'm the watchman that's supposed to be telling you. Right. Let it go. You know what I mean? Read on. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. When I started putting away those evil things I was doing, the scriptures started to become simple. Right. The, the scriptures started to become wise and, and easy to, for me to do. Get um, Ezekiel um, 18 and um, 31, 18. Ezekiel 31, 18. I think that's what I want. Let me make sure. But when I started putting away the evil things, the, the Bible came clear to me now. What I'm supposed to be doing. I'm one of the children of Israel. You know what I mean? But have you ever heard that before? You one of the children of Israel? You have? So what tribe you come from? Well, say the Israelite. You the Israelite, yeah. Israelite is a nationality. But what tribe of Israel? Because it's right here, bro. It's right here. Check out this sign. So if this is what God will call his people, right? But this is what the other nations call us. This is what the enemy calls us. This is what um our God calls us. You Judah. That's what you did you know. The, the, the biggest, the, the greatest man on the earth that walked this earth, he came from the tribe of Judah too. Right. Did you know that? I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. Get that. Um, Hebrews 7, 14. Is that what I wanted in Ezekiel? Yes, sir. Okay. We'll go back to that. Watch this. And remember I said the greatest man that walked the earth, he came from Judah the same way you did. All right? Watch this. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 7, verse 14. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. You see that? It's obvious. Our Lord sprang out of Judah. Ju if Christ was walking the earth, he looked like you. Right. He looked like me. So why did they give us that? Why? It's to keep us under control. Right. To keep our minds under control. Keep us at the bottom. Because if we think they are Christ and they are God, we will never come against them. But it's time, bro. It's time we waking up. We're going to come against them with the word of God. Right. That's the only way we could come against them and rule. All right? Read that Ezekiel again. This is the book of Ezekiel. Chapter 18, verse 31. 27. Verse 27. Again, when the wicked man turneth away from his wickedness that he hath committed and doth that which is lawful and right, he shall save his soul alive. You see that? I didn't know I was being wicked when I was coming up in my lifespan. I never knew that. But when I read the word, it showed me what wickedness was, what I should and what I should not be doing. It showed me my evil ways, so I had to come into myself and say, you know what? I've been wicked all this time. It's time for me to repent. Time for me to get my mind right, all right? Read. Because he considereth and turneth away from all his transgressions. See that? That's what we should be doing. That's how we repent. We turn away from our transgressions. We don't go back to him, though. You know what I mean? Read. He turned away from all his transgress transgressions that he hath committed. He said, surely live. That's how we're going to come to life. Right now, we're walking dead. Our people spiritually dead up and down the street. You know what I mean? That's how we're going to come to life, by following and, keep, and keeping his commandments, all right? Read. He shall not die. Yet said the house of Israel, the way of the Lord is not equal. 
So we, what we got to understand is the Bible always talking about Israel, Israel this, Israel like that. It talks about the other nations, but it talks about them ruling over us for one time, and then they're going to go back into captivity. All right, read. O house of Israel, are not my ways equal? Are not your ways unequal? Mm -hmm. Therefore, I will judge you. That's what the, the, most, high, the most high God. He's going to judge us according to our actions. Like, like I tell you about the black amount. He's going to judge you now even more now because I told you. I told you right from wrong. Now you got to make the decision. Am I going to give it up or am I going to do right for God or am I going to keep following the devil? Because that's what, that's what you're doing. It's what ruined us. Sin is what's ruining us. Sin is what's got us in the, 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 the trap houses. Right. In the bottom, in the projects. No, no other nations like this. Why? Because they're not his chosen. Only the people you see on that sign right there and the remnant that's scattered abroad, those are his chosen people. All right? Now it's time for us to wake up because they know something about us. Get uh, Judah 5 and start at 17. They know something about us. There's something that we did that who we are, they know. That's why they want to kill. That's what happened with the um, COVID-19 stuff. They want to kill us off. They want to kill us. They want to kill us, but they don't, they don't have no problem killing their own to get us. You know? Watch this. Because they, 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 their job is to keep us sinning. Their job is to keep us at the bottom. Not ever learn who we is. That's why you've never seen a sign like this before. That's why you've never seen it before. You know why? Because they spend billions of dollars, billions and billions of dollars to keep this knowledge away from our people. But we, as the prophets, we got to come back and teach our people who we really are. Big bro, how you doing, bro? You got the fly? Come check us out for a second. Let me show you something. Let me show you something. Watch, read this. This is the book of Judas, chapter 5, verse 17. And whilst they sin not before their God. So they knew this. This is one of the elder men of the, the um, Edomite nation, the white people. This is one of their leaders. They know while we sinning against our God, read, they prospered. They know that they're going to prosper if we sin against our God. All right, read. Because the God that hated iniquity was with them. So when we don't sin against God, God going to be with us. All right, read. But when they departed from the way which he appointed them, that way that he appointed us, that's in um, Exodus chapter 18 and verse 20. That way is God's commandments, God's laws. Once we start and or once we leave the commandments of God, watch. They were destroyed in... We were destroyed in many battles. Many times we went to war. Many times we went to war. Our, our nations and kings was, was put to death. You know why? Because we were sinning against our God. Read. They were destroyed in many battles, very sore, and were led captives into a land that, not, that was not theirs. Did we not go into captivity? Why? Because we sinned against our God. That's the real question. Why did we go into slavery? Because we sinned against our God. He put chains on our neck. They sold us on auction blocks. They hold out our sisters and made us uh, breeders in, across the world because we sinned against our God. Read. And the temple of their God was cast to the ground. They destroyed all our temples. We had, we had beautiful temples that was built. They destroyed all our temples because they knew if we didn't follow our God, they could rule over us. Watch. And their cities were taken by the enemy. Mm -hmm. But now are they returned to their God. That's what we're doing right now. We're building up a nation to return into our God. That, you know how we do that? Teach one another. Right. You see something, say something. You know what I mean? You see, if I see sin in you and I allow it, I don't love you, bro. I don't love you. That's hatred. That's real hatred. But real love is telling you, stop the sin. Come out of iniquity. Today the Sabbath day. Don't go buy nothing else no more. Right. Until the sun goes down. Today the Sabbath day. Certain, certain laws and certain commandments that's not being taught to us as a nation of people. Because they want us, like the, like the scripture just said, they know if we sin, they can rule over us. Watch. And I come up from the places where they were scattered mm -hmm. and have possessed Jerusalem, mm -hmm. where their sanctuary is, and are seated in the hill country, for it was desolate. You see that? Why, did, why are they in our country right now? Why are they in Israel calling themselves Israel? Israeli? Because they, they done took over. Why? Because we in the midst of sin. Us as a nation of people, we got to come out of that problem. We got to wake up, change us together, though. It can't be no individual thing. We can't say, oh, I know, I, I already know I'm Israel. All right, so what you doing about it? That's the whole question. Read. 
Now, therefore, my Lord and Governor, if there be any error in this people, you hear that? The brother said to his, 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 his Lord or his, his head, he said, if there any, be any iniquity in this people, meaning if there's any sin in the nation of Israel, watch, and they sin against their God, and we go against our God, because that's what we're doing right now, right? Read. Let us consider that this shall be their ruin. You hear that? Now we know how we get ruined on the earth. Now we know why this right here happened. Matter of fact, look at this right here. Look at this right here. If you could read this right here, bro. To be sold on Tuesday, the third day, of according to a cargo of 94 prime healthy Negroes, con consisting of 39 men, 15 boys, 24 women, and 16 girls, just arrived in the Brigantine Dembia. Fresh, fresh air bear. You good, you good. But you, but you see that though, bro? We were sold on auction blocks. That happened for a reason. They knew if we sin, they could do that stuff to us. They could sell us to each other. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is you. And finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord.